fortunate enough to have been raised around Muslims my entire life. However, it wasn't until I got to NBC that I became close to any of them. I met my friend Fatima by accident. One day, we were in the library and I saw her sitting at a computer wearing zebra hijab. I thought this was the coolest thing ever because I love the pattern and I have my very own zebra pattern umbrella. So I started a conversation with her and I told her that I loved her scarf and then I explained that practically everything I own is zebra print, including my band-aids. And because of this, we became fast friends. Really? I also met my friend Hamza in the library. I was talking about my birthday party to all my friends and he sat down to study. And I asked him if he was from India because I babysit a lot of Bengali Indian families. And he said yes, and we talked about India for a time. And I even invited him to my party. But after time went on and I asked Hamza more and more questions, I realized that he wasn't really interested in having a party at a club and drinking all night. And that his version of a birthday would be thanking God for another year uh, instead of not being able to remember his birthday. Um, so without saying anything or telling me that I was wrong, Hamza's actions uh, to be a better Muslim kind of made me think about how to be a better Christian. I soon realized that clubbing wasn't really my idea of a good time either, and I kind of canceled my birthday party. A few uh, months and a lot of learning later, I feel like I understand what a Muslim is and how they worship a little bit better. Uh, during Muslim Appreciation Week, I wore hijab for a day to understand what it's like for my friend Fatima to wear it all the time. Uh, I learned that wearing a scarf is not hindering Fatima from being heard or seen, but allowing people to focus on her face and not her body when they talk to her. Uh, I now feel that wearing hijab is not oppressing, but rather a way of demanding respect from others. Uh, I love her for wearing it and standing up for herself and her religion. I also learned that a party is not really determined by how much music is playing or how much alcohol is there, but who is there to celebrate with you. Um, this Friday I'm actually having a halal cookout uh, at my house to celebrate the end of the semester, and I look at this as a way to commemorate my birthday in a healthy, safe environment uh, around friends that really matter to me and help me delve deeper into my feet. Um, I'm glad that I've made such a big change in my life and that I'm learning to thank God more for what I have. Uh, but it's important to know that these changes would not have happened if it weren't for my Muslim friends. Um, they're truly a blessing to me and they're a wonderful reason to praise God.